All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of working in cybersecurity. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of working in cybersecurity. One of my subscribers recently left a comment, and this person's name is Real Reserved. They said, hey, Tech G, can you please do a pros and cons video of working a cybersecurity job? I would love to see that from your perspective. So I'm not going to give you necessarily a pros and cons of working a particular cybersecurity job. I'm just going to give you the pros and cons of being a cybersecurity professional and all of these pros and cons and more than positive cover the wide spectrum of the different types of cybersecurity jobs that are out there. Meaning no matter what role you work in, you probably will experience these pros and cons. With that being said, make sure you hit the like button, share button, and subscribe. Now, let's go ahead and get into these wonderful slideshows that I've put together for you. Now, y'all know on the Tech G channel, we are all about the slideshows, ladies and gentlemen. I think I got the world's greatest slideshows. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about the pros and cons of working in cybersecurity. Also, before we get started, you want to join a membership so you can get access to all this information to help you get certified in IT Fundamentals, A+, plus Network plus and security plus hit the join button ladies and gentlemen i got some things over there and i got some ideas for some new things to come to help you all get thoroughly educated so you can successfully pass one or all of these certification exams but let's do this slideshow so the pros and cons of working in cybersecurity. let's talk about some of the pros right well some of this should be self-explanatory but if not then we'll go ahead and dive into it so obviously the main pro as to why I'm pretty sure a lot of you all have subscribed to my channel is because you've seen me talking about this ad nauseum in videos, talking about how you can earn a good salary or a high salary. Now also understand, typically when you work in cybersecurity, these high salaries that I like to talk about on this channel, oftentimes these are salaries that are earned by people who have been in the industry for a few years and they demonstrated they have the skills, competence, and proficiency to demand a high salary. So. Just think about that as you're beginning your career. Don't be under any disillusionment thinking that you're going to come out the gate with a very high salary because it's probably not going to happen. But also do understand working in cybersecurity, your compensation as the cybersecurity professional at your job, oftentimes this tends to be higher than the average employee at your company because of the nature of what you do and how you are responsible for protecting the company's systems and networks. And another thing about these salaries is that salaries tend to go up and this is caused by demand for cybersecurity professionals in the industry and this is also directly linked to your experience so that's the first pro the second pro is there are literally cybersecurity jobs everywhere whether you're working in banking you're working in the schools or colleges arena healthcare you work for a tech company telecommunications your local state and federal governments they have a bunch of cybersecurity jobs there are contract jobs there are just jobs all over over the place. All one has to do is just go onto a website like Indeed and just do a search for cybersecurity jobs in your area. And I can almost guarantee that you will come across hundreds of cybersecurity jobs in and around your area that are in various industries. So that is another pro. Another pro is I just mentioned this. There is a high demand for cybersecurity jobs. And one important point about this demand is that the unemployment rates when it comes to cybersecurity workers tend to be around 1% or less. That means pretty much everybody who works in cybersecurity is employed. Also, there oftentimes tends to be more available cybersecurity jobs than there are qualified people to fill them. So that creates the demand, which directly ties into the salaries going up. And then here's another point to think about. Let's just say you work for a company and you don't like the culture, you don't like what the company's doing, or you mess around and get fired. Well, depending upon what you did to get fired, Fire, assuming it's nothing bad, <laughs> there is a high chance that you can find employment elsewhere because once again, there are cybersecurity jobs being advertised all over the place. So, and also the unemployment rate for cybersecurity is 1% or less. So you will 
find a job. Next pro is advancement opportunities. So being at cybersecurity, this is pretty much an unregulated industry for the most part compared to other industries, which oftentimes require you to have a license to operate. You know, think about the medical profession and things like that. Being that that is the case, there are an abundance of opportunities for you to excel in terms of career progression and putting more money in your pocket. And some of the ways you can do that are by attaining higher and specialized certifications, degrees, you're developing new skills. And like I said, all of this can lead to employment opportunities and higher pay. And then you also have self-employment opportunities. So a lot of people, they go into consulting for businesses, whether they're large, medium, or small to advise these companies about how they should be doing certain things related to cybersecurity. And then you have contracting businesses. So you have a lot of people who go into contracting who do work with these large, medium, and small organizations where they are getting paid to come into the company and perform certain cybersecurity related tasks, even though they do not directly work for the company. So that is another pro. And another pro for you to think about, there are always new things that you can learn. And the reason why is because every single day there is a cybersecurity related problem taking place like clockwork. And this presents an opportunity for you to develop your skills every single day because there's always somebody out there trying to cause chaos and confusion to somebody's systems and network. Another pro is on the job training. And this can provide you all with the necessary experience that is crucial for you to get into cybersecurity. And a way you can get that is, let's just say you work for a company, whether you work in the tech section of your company or not, some companies will train employees to learn cybersecurity so those employees can move into those those roles. As a matter of fact, that is exactly what happened with my youngest brother. He was working for a company. Well, he still works for that same company, but he was working with the company doing some help desk related type of stuff. And then they offered a program of some sorts to start training people to switch over into cybersecurity. He took advantage of the training and now he is a cybersecurity professional working at that company whose salary is way higher than what it was compared to when he first started working. So I just outlined eight pros of working in cybersecurity that you you should think about if you are considering entering this field. And one way you can go about trying to enter this field is by hitting that join button on this channel so you can get access to these classes that I present because those people who take advantage of that information that I have, they always send me emails, messages, and pictures showing me their certifications saying that they passed. And guess what? I want to add you to the wall of fame as well. Now let's talk about the cons. Because for every bit of light, there's always some darkness out there, right? So what are some of the cons? The first one is cybersecurity. You may be on call and there are demanding hours. And the reason why is because cyber attacks, they happen any time of the day. They just never stop. So if you work in cybersecurity, you are expected to be accessible pretty much any time of the day, including weekends and evenings. And then another thing is you may be put on some type of rotation or shift work. So get prepared for that in your life as well. And another thing, you may get bombarded with emails and phone calls even while you are on vacation. And the reason being is that cyber attacks never stop. So you may be out there in the Bahamas somewhere, sipping a Bahama mama, just enjoying your life. And next thing you know, you got to go out there and answer some emails and tell somebody to go push a button over here and do something over there. Why? Because even though you're trying to live your best life, the hackers, they're living their best life every single day by trying to cause chaos and confusion on the networks and the systems that you are tasked with protecting. Also, another thing to consider is boredom from doing the same thing over and over again. I know you all like to watch the movies and y'all see the cybersecurity guys jumping over the laser beams. They're flying from country to country, stealing USB sticks and doing all kinds of stuff, right? But that is not the life of the average cybersecurity professional. The average cybersecurity professional, when they're not out there defending the system, they are out there documenting every incident that takes place on the network. They're also out there checking every incident log file all the time to make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to do and they didn't miss something. They're always attending a meeting, whether virtually or physically, to give somebody an update about the system status and what's going on with the network. So just be prepared. That will be a major part of your life. Another so-called con is the learning never stops. Now, this can be a blessing and a curse, and it can be a blessing because you're trying to learn 
everything you can to be the best you can be so you can get your salary as high as you possibly can get it. And it can be a curse for those who are not really trying as hard and it'll help to weed them out of the industry. With that being said, you're going to be constantly learning new certifications. You got to learn about new threats. You got new skills. You got a home. You don't really get a break from the learning process. Why? Because the hackers, they don't ever take a break. They are always trying to find a new way to cause chaos and confusion. And so you have to try to keep up with the hackers because they are always at least one step ahead of you for the most part. Another con is a lack of resources and or support. So you got to understand you going into a cybersecurity role or just a tech role in general, and especially if you don't work for a tech company, let's just say you work for a banking institution or something like that. Well, you got to understand that upper management, they know what you guys do, but they don't understand what you all do meaning they know you're there to protect the systems, but they don't understand exactly how you do it and why you do it. So when it comes to you trying to get them to invest in you, meaning you want to get them to pay for a certification or send you to a conference or send you some type of training or to get them to make a purchase for some piece of equipment that you may need, you're probably going to have to get somebody to advocate on your behalf who can speak the language of the management because you're going to go in there speaking all super techie and they're going to look at you like you're speaking a foreign language. Language. So you're probably going to have to have somebody advocate on your behalf who can translate between techie jargon and upper management jargon to make things make sense so that upper management can understand the importance of what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, what you're doing, in my opinion, is probably the most important job in the company because nobody else in that company can do what they do if you can't protect the systems. Another so-called con, and I don't really consider this a con, but it can be a con, is that employers, they do want skills skills, experience, and qualifications. And if you are just getting started in tech, meaning you're transitioning from another industry into tech or you're coming straight out your mama's house trying to get your first job. Well, obviously you don't have the skills, experience or qualifications. So it may be somewhat difficult for you to land a cybersecurity role. That doesn't mean that you can't land a tech role and then eventually transition into cybersecurity because that's how a lot of people start. But if you're thinking, I'm just going to come straight out the gate and land a cybersecurity role, it might not happen for the majority of you. Not saying that it can't happen, but let's just be realistic here. And also within that, being that employers want skills, qualifications, and experience, that means you're going to have to constantly develop and keep your skills up to date without having somebody to tell you. And oftentimes without having somebody to pay for, you might have to come out your pocket and pay for some of this stuff on your own in terms of your skills being up to date. Another con you may experience is high burnout. So expect potentially dealing with long hours. Like I I told you earlier, weekends, vacations, and holidays are not off limits. Why? Because hackers, they get to hacking on weekends, vacations, and holidays all day, every day. So guess what? The system is attacked and the bosses call you up. And you're out there in Vegas just throwing chips in the air at the casino. Guess what? You might want to answer that phone and help that company solve the problem so that you can keep your job. And then this could also potentially affect one's work-life balance because of the nature of the business. You are there to protect systems from people trying to cause chaos and confusion. And just because you want to chill with your boo thing and watch Netflix and chill, the hackers, they don't have a boo thing, or maybe they are with their boo thing and they're trying to break into the system while you're trying to get your Netflix and chill on. So this all could lead to dealing with some stress and some potential high pressure. And guess what? That's just kind of the way it is when you are out there defending the systems and the networks. Also, another con, there is less room for mistakes. Mistakes. Understand mistakes that can cost the company time, money, and the company's reputation. But more importantly, that can cost you your job. So if you don't know what you're doing, you go around and do something that allows a system to go chaotic or a hacker to just run through the network all willy-nilly unchecked, expect to be at the unemployment line trying to drop a resume off. That is more than likely what's going to happen to you. And then another con is this is a fast-paced industry and you need to keep up with the trends and the new information that's coming out. All of the 
new developments, the threats and the solutions. You need to know the terms, the acronyms and the tech jargon. Why? Because hackers never sleep. They're always trying to break into something to cause chaos and confusion. So you need to learn about the latest tricks they're up to. Keep up with the trends, the news, the threats, the solutions, the acronyms, the jargon, all that wonderful stuff, man. That's just the way the job goes. But I think you can handle it, though. So with that being said, if you are ready to begin a career in IT and eventually transition into cybersecurity, I highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. But more importantly, I highly encourage you to join one of my channel memberships where you can get access to these courses, A+, plus, Network+, plus, and Security+. Plus. I have IT fundamentals posted up for free for all y'all out there that want to get certified in that. But A+, plus, Network+, plus, and Security+, plus, those are the three foundational certifications that can build your illustrious career in IT and cybersecurity. So I highly encourage you to take advantage of this and don't let all of the cons scare you away. That's just kind of how the job goes. Just think about the pros with those big, wonderful paychecks that allow for you to go out there and live your best life until you get a call from the boss talking about, hey, I need you to come in on the weekend. Yes, I know it's your anniversary, but you need to come in here and fix this immediately because if you don't, it's going to cost you your paycheck. So just think about all those things, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're ready to do all that stuff, then come join the wonderful world of cybersecurity professionals and let's go out there and protect some systems. So with that being said, hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe and I will holler at you all on the next video. Peace.